And today I wanted to talk about how important it is to really dig deep and, and look underneath that behavior because I recently had um, two experiences with my daughter where I once I dug a little deeper I was amazed to find out um, the kind of tension and, and feelings that she was holding in and the first experience was um, it was one morning and I went into her room and I was uh, helping her find some clothes and uh, to wear before school and all of a sudden she um, I said well you can you know wear pants or dress. I started talking about the clothes and all of a sudden she took her a notepad. She pretended as if she was writing and she wrote, you always help other people be nice to their kids, but I don't care because I miss you. And just like that. And she stopped. And I can say that my heart broke into a million pieces because um, I love my work, but I don't want it to um, I don't want my daughter to get the message that my work is more important, um, but I also want to give her the message that I, I really find a lot of joy and um, uh, you know all kinds of satisfaction in the work that I do. But I know that I have a tendency to overwork and to be a perfectionist and to you know work really hard on things and maybe to ignore some of the other things that are going on. So when she said this to me. Um, it really, and it's so cliche, we say it all the time, we know we need to stop working, but, or we need to pay more attention to our kids, but it really hit me because she, the way she said it was, you know, you help other parents be nice to their kids, but I don't care because I miss you. And, and it, it couldn't have been any more clear. And so I sat down with her and I didn't just apologize for her because I don't want to apologize for my work again. I really, I do love my work, but I did empathize with her and I said that I imagine that that must have um, been really painful to hold in, that mama was working all the time and, and that I wasn't maybe paying attention to you. Was that what was going on? Were you feeling like I was paying more attention to my work? And we had this nice discussion about her feelings around that and what was important to me about my needs um, to have some purpose in my life and, and I want her to grow up to find something that she loves to do um, but it also gave me pause to reflect on how much am I doing um, am I actually enjoying my life with my child and my my husband and my family or am I letting it pass by in the rush to get everything done and the rush to help people and the rush to feel like I am contributing and my neglecting things at home. So I haven't done a video blog in um, a couple of weeks and one of the reasons was that I was really trying to refocus and find out what was important to me so that I could find some balance and that my child wouldn't feel like I was choosing my work over her but n knew that they were both very important to me and that I was going to consider her feelings and, and look for ways that I could maybe not um, work so much or work around her or maybe not work when I'm actually trying to focus on her, which I know so many of us um, can can do. We can fall into that trap. We're busy. We need to get things done. And, and if you're running your own business like me, you feel all the more responsible because it's not like a schedule of things that you're doing for someone else. You're actually yeah, propelling uh, forward motion of you know your work by your activity but I had to step back so I'm stepping back and then the next thing that happened was that um, my daughter was having some really she had a meltdown basically and it was over the weekend and she had um, been playing with a friend and this was recently and she came home and we she literally just melted down um, at soap being on her hands and then getting on her legs. So it was something that could have seemed really ridiculous and then and then that led to melting down because um, you know the napkin was wet and then the banana peel was already ripped and all of these things and finally she just she just broke down and she started screaming and screaming and crying and like in that moment your head is my head was spinning um, not wanting it to escalate but feeling my tolerance uh, my patience going and my level of tolerance, you know, really getting that window closing in on me to where I was about to lose it because I couldn't help her. I couldn't stop her from screaming. And it was very, it was an extreme meltdown. And finally, I just said to her, what happened? What happened today? Why? What's going on? Something's happening. And she, and I did this with a lot of um, 
compassion in my voice and, you know, a little bit of fear because it was honest. I didn't understand why she was so upset. And she collapsed in my arms and broke down and told me the story about a friend who had treated her badly. And she'd been holding this in the whole time. And it was coming out in all of these weird behaviors. And if I had just kept focusing on those behaviors, I would have missed this amazing opportunity for her to share with me um, some experiences that she had been having with a friend and then I was able to help her move through that and know that she was gonna get help that she wasn't gonna be alone in this situation but more importantly um, I gave her the freedom and the space and the safety to actually offload what was happening what was really going on what was driving her behavior those intense feelings and 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 unmet needs for a friendship and play that that she missed with her friend that she had the conflict with um, those needs were driving her behaviors and it was coming out in something that was completely unrelated um, so i just wanted to emphasize the importance of really digging deep and not taking behavior as uh, just, you know, not, not taking the surface information that you get from behavior. Know that there's something driving it that's, that's more important to discover. There's a feeling that hasn't been expressed or there's a need that's needing to be met or there's some kind of connection that needs to be made. Um, and children will tell us this through our behavior. So those are just two little stories, and I wanted to say happy holidays to everybody as we go into this holiday season. I've got all kinds of new classes and, and things planned for the new year, so I'm really excited. My website is getting revamped. I've hired a new website um, graphic designer, and we're going to be getting all kinds of cool things up there and, and making it more user-friendly so that you guys can come and find lots of support and help. But until next time, visit me on the Facebook page, and have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.